how many aliens are out there that we could communicate with? And this seems like a really overwhelming question. And so the beauty of the Drake equation, though it's so simple, it's just a bunch of numbers multiplied together, is that it expresses it in parts. It says, well, let's just start by asking how many stars are there out there in the galaxy? And that turns out to be a huge number we now know, hundreds of billions, which is a great start. But then it asks, well, what fraction of those stars have planets where life might evolve? And then what fraction of those planets might have life? And what fraction of that life might be intelligent? What fraction of those intelligent civilizations might develop technology that could communicate with us? And what fraction of those exist in the right time period to talk to us? So the structure of the Drake equation, multiplying all these terms together, emphasizes something really important, which is for this to work, for there to be aliens out there in the universe that are similar enough for us to talk to them, everything has to fall into place. You need the star, you need the planet, you need life, you need intelligence, you need civilization, you need technology, and you need the time. If any of those numbers are zero, then you got no aliens. Like people often say, look, of course there are aliens out there. Look at the number of planets. There's a huge number of planets out there. Yeah, but if the fraction of those that have life is one over 10 to the 50, then we're alone in the galaxy, despite the huge number of stars and planets.